Hey Redeem Girls, Marion here and I want to wish you a happy 2016. As we start the new year, I know everyone is either thinking about resolutions and some people come up with a word for the year. I want to start by sharing with you my scripture for the year. Um, God really has put this word on my heart and I just want to share it with you and it's from Jeremiah chapter 9. It's verse 23 and 24. It says, the Lord says, wise people should not boast that they are wise. Powerful people should not boast that they are powerful. Rich people should not boast that they are rich. If people want to boast, they should boast about this. They should boast that they understand and know me. They should boast that they know and understand that I, the Lord, act out of faithfulness, fairness, and justice in the earth, and that I desire people to do these things. That's Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24. How incredible is that scripture? If you think about it, God's like right in our world. It's like in our Instagram world and in our Twitter feed and our Facebook posts. And we boast about so many things. He goes, the real man, the real woman should boast in the fact that they know their God, right? Uh, the book of Daniel says, the people who know their God are strong. I love that because what makes us who we are, and as Tozer, my, my loves Tozer so much, in his book, The Knowledge of the Holy, he says, the most important thing about you is what you believe about God. Now, I take that so to heart, and I've seen that so true in my life and the people that I've discipled. What we believe about God, what we believe about his character, his heart, his acts towards us, who he is, those things shape how we respond to God. They shape how we relate to him. They shape how really we see ourselves. So this year, I'm excited to tell you that we're starting a journey of memorizing and meditating and learning about the character and the attributes and the names of God. We've teamed back up with our friends at Scarlet and Gold Shop. If you were with us last year and you went through the memorization of the 52 weeks of a redeemed girl where we looked at our identity and we looked at our purpose and all of those wonderful things, we've teamed back up with our friends at Scarlet and Gold this year to produce the amazing cards called My God Is. I just am so excited about this series because what we're gonna do is over the next year, each week, a different attribute of God. We'll go from al alphabetical order and we'll start with A and we'll start to look into scripture at who he is, how he's revealed himself and what happens to us when we do that we become different people because we lift our eyes up off of our circumstances and off ourselves. We lift our eyes up into the heavenly and we begin to behold him. And what we know to be true is that we, what, we become what we behold. The more we behold him and know him, the more we become like him. Think about Moses. When Moses went up on the mountain in Exodus, and he spent 40 days and 40 nights with God on the mountain. It says that God descended in the cloud and God revealed his glory to Moses. And what happened in that moment was he revealed his character. And he said, I am the Lord, the Lord God. And he began to describe his character and reveal his attributes. And as a result, Moses came down from that mountain transformed. And that's my prayer for us as we enter into this year of beholding his glory, of looking at the attributes and the character of God, of 52 weeks of saying my God is, is that we would become men and women who are transformed, transformed by him as we behold him. Now you can get your set of cards over at the Scarlet and Gold shop and just visit there and you can find those. But let me just share with you a few ways to use these. You can just, number one, carry the cards with you. As, as I told girls last year, get a Ziploc bag, grab your card for the week, put it in your Ziploc, take it to the gym, take it to the work, take it to work, keep it with you and begin to meditate every day on that word of God. Uh, you can keep on your desk. You'll see my desk behind me. I keep my cards there and each week I flip over to the next card and look at it. One thing my family did is we got a chalkboard. Hey chalkboard. And if you're creative, if you have better handwriting than I do, write out that scripture for every week. Put it up where you can see it and you can meditate on it. There's so many ways that you can use these cards, but don't forget, one of the biggest things is every week we will have a teaching video on our app, on our website, on YouTube, you can find it just about any place where I will take that scripture and I will unpack it and I will teach on that specific name, characteristic, or attribute of God. 
I hope you will dig into God's word with us in 2016. I hope you will fall more in love with God as we get to know him this year. And I pray, God, I pray so much that you're blessed and transformed in this process.